Covering education tonight, RTV6 is putting the spotlight on an area public high school with an impressive track record. Yeah, from my high graduation rate to being labeled one of the most challenging schools in America has a lot to brag about. So we put the question out there, what are they doing differently? RTV6's Ann Kelly has the answer. The high school in question, Heron High School, here at 16th in Pennsylvania, just north of downtown. This is a free public charter school that, if it has the space, accepts any student who applies. About a third of the kids who go here actually qualify for free or reduced lunch. And as we just mentioned, a lot to brag about here. This is an A school, a four-star school, ranked in the top 2% of high schools in the nation by the Washington Post. And more than 98% of kids who go here graduate. So what is happening within these walls? Well, I sat down with the head of school, Janet Harmon McNeil. And while it's impossible to pinpoint one big factor to the school's success, some possibilities, this is a public school with a 15 to 1 student to teacher ratio. Lots of hands-on help. Kids who are struggling are given one-to-one -one mentoring. Uh, there's a, not a ton of electives. Every student must take four years of English, math, science, social studies, and Latin. And another possible factor, every year teachers here are given more than 300 hours of professional development where they learn how to teach better. This, as the school entering its 10th year this fall, continues to build off its own model. We really did get to start a school. Uh, we didn't come in with any kind of baggage. We didn't come in with any sort of presupposed culture. We were able to build the school uh, based on the needs of the student. I used to drive past here every day, and I was like, that's the school I want to go to. I want to go there. And every, day I'm able, every time I would pass it, pass it I'd be like, hey, that's my high school. And my mom eventually got sick of me saying it, so she enrolled me. And that student with another key factor to this high school's success, students choose to go here. They have to actively apply and decide this is where they want to be. And so many kids want to be here. There's actually a wait list, 300 students long, but hopefully for not too long. The high school tells me it is seriously considering opening a second school with the same model. Reporting just north of downtown, Ann Kelly, RTV6.